I completed Elden Ring the other day and I realized I have nothing to play. I lost interest in life and was bored to death. I told myself that the DLC will be out in another 2 months and I was eagerly waiting for it when I realized I am not out of options. I rushed to my setup at light speed, opened the browser, not this, but this and downloaded the convergence mod. I thought this would be a good practice and experience before the DLC comes out. But boy was it just a practice. This was a whole new game itself with many new classes focusing on certain types of builds like madness or frostbite, new weaponry, new incantations and spells and a whole new areas to the map. I chose the bleed class and soon realized it's not just another melee based character. This specific class has insane incantations which literally Moog uses himself even the kneel kneel ones and scales with arcane and faith both and i decided to name this the vampire build using fire and bleed to burn through the enemy's health bars i was amazed at how good and balanced this mod felt let me tell you a few things which i did not expect at all every class starts at a different location in this mod the bleed class specifically starts at the rose church yes the broken church filled with blood everywhere in leonia of lakes you already have access to the entire map from the very start of the game which means you can easily access the mid and late game equipment very early and become an absolute monster you also don't need to pick up items the game auto picks them for you which is a life saver as the entire crafting menu is also available to you from the very beginning there are tons of special weapons specifically made for certain classes which take your build even further the way to access them is simple go to a minor earth tree defeat the boss gain the access to the portal that takes you anywhere on the map you can also consume all ruins at lost graces this is a big time saver as you don't have to consume them one by one and my favorite part regardless of which armor you wear you can alter the way the armor visually looks talk about amazing quality of life you can even make it invisible and run around naked if that's what you're into overall this is an amazing mod before the dlc comes out and it did make a young man very very happy here are some glimpses of what it actually looks like to play with this vampire build in the game Easiest shit in my life. That's the easiest thing I've done. Give him curse. Now he has curse. Now he can go. And the moment he does that thing, does that reach there? Oh, it does. It does reach all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> almost died. I almost died as well. I was so s There we go. Hope you got a glimpse of what this mod can actually do. Subscribe to see how this vampire build performs against the major bosses in the series.